Hey everyone, Christian Gabriel here with another very short tutorial video. I'm going to be doing a series of these videos on Adobe After Effects, InDesign, Premiere, Encoder, Illustrator, and Photoshop on the subject of when things break for those having issues with their projects. Nothing is worse than getting stuck on something that is easily fixable. I know that some of these problems may prompt you to throw your computer at a wall or take a blowtorch to it. And to be truthful, some of you holding on to much older systems may need to think about moving on or at least moving up if you're going to be using any of the new updated software. Some may have simple issues out there and some may have more complex problems. And in those cases, you may have to perform entire OS reinstalls or even purchase updated computers. Not poking fun of you in your time of need, but you also have to be realistic. All right, let's get to it. Today I wanna to cover some very easily fixable issues that drives many beginners and even some advanced users crazy. The issues are things that disappear in your After Effects, namely masks, handles, and transforms. So let's get to it here. First, let's talk about masks. I'm in my project here, and you'll see I have some text here as well, and I'm gonna draw a quick mask on it. Okay, I'm gonna go up here to my rectangle tool, and then I'm gonna draw just a simple mask, maybe just uh, selecting half of our text right there. So there's our lovely vector mask, non-destructively hiding and revealing those pixels on your layer. So let's say you come back to your project and you see something like this. Yep, all your masks are gone. And you can try to click on them, you can try to manipulate them any way you want, but uh, they're not clickable. You can click down here in your timeline and it still won't bring up your masks there. The first place you want to check is at the bottom of your composition window. If you hover over this odd little button, you'll see it says toggle mask and shape path visibility. Click on this button until you see the blue highlight and your masks come back. Now let me bring an image into this composition. I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to drop it right below my text right here. In fact, temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of my text. All right. The first thing you will notice if you look at the corners of your screen, and I'm currently on fit right now, fit mode right here. Uh, there's no handles, nothing to grab onto. Now we can go into our timeline here and we could activate scale and we could scale our picture up and down if we like. But what happened to our transforms? Once again, our transforms are gone. At this point, you need to go to what's called your composition view options. View options allow you to toggle several useful features. You can access them by going to your Composition Windows panel menu in the upper left-hand corner, click on it, and you'll see up here, View Options. If I click on View Options, you'll see we have a ton of features that we can turn on and off here. Handles, effect controls, masks, mask feather boundaries, keyframes, motion paths, and motion path tangents. We can also turn it on and off our camera wireframes and our spotlight wireframes. If you've ever had that problem where all of a sudden you can't really see the wireframes of those lights you created, well, here you go. You can turn them on and off right here. You can also turn on and off pixel aspect ratio correction as well. So if you wanna bring all these features back, all you have to do is check the box and that will bring all those little pieces back again. If I say okay, beautiful. I should be able to select my image now and now we can grab the handles and uh, get a little crazy with our image here. Anyways, I hope this helps some of you out there suffering in limbo. If you want more, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. More videos are coming soon.